Meat production accounts for roughly 10% of our global carbon footprint. Beef production uses 60% of all agricultural land on our planet, and it's only 2% of the calories that we consume. It's not sustainable at all. Our mission is to create alternative meats that are so delicious, nutritious, and affordable that eating animals just doesn't make sense anymore. My name is Christophe Chantre. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Tender Food. I grew up in Switzerland in the countryside. There were cows in my backyard. I think my parents wanted to get rid of me during the summers and they sent me off to climbing camps. You look at a wall and a problem and you have to figure out how you're able to solve it. I became aware of climate change during high school. I think I was really interested in the idea of how can you develop technologies that can address problems related to climate change. I did my undergrad in mechanical engineering, but then I took a class in biology and decided that I wanted to dig deeper a little bit in that field, and that's how I ended up in a lab at Harvard, and that's where I met all of my co-founders. Luke, Grant, and myself ended up doing research on growing meat using cells in a lab without the animal. Tender Food is a company that uses technology to make meat without animals. Close to 70% of our antibiotics are used not for humans, but for meat production. And it's because the way we produce meat today is extremely unsanitary. Tender food can benefit the planet in several different ways. It can address climate change and also alleviate the strains on meat production, unethical production. Luke and Grant came from very different backgrounds. Grant is the master operator. He just gets stuff done. And yeah, he loves food. I'm Grant Gonzalez, CTO and co-founder of Tender Foods. So my main role is figuring out how to transform plant proteins into something that more resembles animal proteins, both on the texture and the flavor front to remind you of all the qualities of your favorite cut of meat. I think Luke has always been passionate about this work, about creating food from cells without the animal. I think that's always fascinated him. He's kind of like the mad scientist. My name is Luke McQueen. I'm co-founder and CSO. I've always grown up eating meat and enjoying it, but I've not been personally responsible for producing the meat. As I get older, I think more about that, and I would like to have some alternatives. The real science behind what we're doing lies in combining plant-based materials that look and feel like a real piece of meat with living biological cells that can grow and turn it into an authentic piece of muscle with fat like meat is. What we're seeing is that people are excited by new foods, new technologies that are going into food that can make a certain food type healthier, more sustainable, more nutritious, and that can be done using the new technologies that we're developing today. For a long time, people have been using blood serum to feed animal cells, but we're currently comparing that with media that doesn't come from blood or animal sources. We're gonna start with pork, beef, chicken, and then at some point, hopefully, seafood. There is this problem around being able to recreate that fine structure, that fine texture, whether it's a steak or a piece of salmon, and so that's where we hope to contribute. Today, we're tasting our barbecue pulled pork sandwich, and we are looking to see how it feels on the mouth, the sensory experience that it brings, and if you could pull it apart and feel the individual strands while getting those notes of pork flavor and strong umami experience. It's important to share meals with one another because how it recreates memories of our past experience so that we can bond over them together and be anchored in the fact that there's all these cultural ties around food. The ultimate end goal for us is that when you go to the supermarket, you don't just have three different products that are made out of plants, it's that you have 90% of the meats that are made out of plants. And by doing that, really transform this industry to one that today is broken, unsustainable, unethical, to one that provides consumers with products that do not destroy our planet and that people love.